Welcome back guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be working with our API and it's pretty much the configurations that will allow us to make calls to our endpoints. So how I want to get started is I want you to create a services folder and an API folder under that services folder under source. So when you have that done, I want you to make a new file in that folder and we're going to name that file constants.js. So today we're just going to be talking about constants because I want to keep this video short. I always say that, but then they end up being long. So in that sense, I'm a freaking liar. <laughs> but in this constants folder actually is where we will be handling a lot of things such as environments. So I want you to do const API URL equals function to make a new function. And we're going to let this API URL equal nothing right now. And this in fact is not how you would write it for React Native, but this is how we would write it if we were just doing this in React. So just plain JavaScript. Um, so if we're in production, then we are going to make the API URL equal something like HTTPS production dot dancing nomads dot com or something um, and don't forget the semicolon else if if we're going to handle this in staging which you should all have to test your app before you actually push it to production then you should do process and app environment uh, equals staging then our API URL is going to be staging dot dancing nomads dot com or something. Else, this is the case where we will use our local environment. We're going to do API URL equals HTTP dot some some port or some uh, IP configuration and it will be like something like 3001 it's which I the one that I have mine in and you're gonna return that API URL so for the development environment I'm gonna put a note here you actually need to use if config in order to find the private IP of your computer um, for Expo, actually, localhost doesn't work. Um, it doesn't localhost doesn't work because the app is running inside an emulator. So that's just a little catch me that I discovered while working with Expo. So the next thing we got to do, actually, let's go to here and write IP config. Let's see what we get. Uh, IP if config not IP config. So if I do uh, if config, if you look up, you should find some sort of IP. So for example, 192.168.8629, that would be my IP. So that's pretty much where I posted here. So that's basically it. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to do another const function, HTTP uh, const host URL without HTTP. And this is kind of like a helper for me. Um, most of the time I just use this API URL, but this one is used whenever I don't want HTTP. So this is pretty much not used in our app, actually in our mobile app, um, because we will be using API URL, but you basically just want to do the same thing. This is what I would do in order to get something without the HTTP, which we don't really want in our mobile app, but you might have a case for it when you're developing your web app, if you're gonna develop one. So I'm just gonna take all these API URLs and replace them with our variable there. And all you need to do here is you basically just get rid of the HTTPS. So do that and do that. And that's basically it. Uh, last thing you gotta do is you gotta export these const. So you do API URL, 
so that they could be imported and used in other files. So host URL equals URL without HTTP. So, and that's pretty much our constant files, and that's how we're going to leave it now. Um, and in the next video, we're going to talk about our API function that we'll actually use to make those calls to the endpoint. But this is the configuration to the endpoints that we have. So we have this is the base, and we'll attach the endpoints to the end. Other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe, join our mailing list, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.